This is like one of the biggest things that we see that is so easy to do, but nobody does it. Well, nobody does it properly. So to give you an example, Hey guys, it is Lawrence here. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the three things that we're going to be doing in our own agency, three things that we're going to be helping our clients do as well in 2024 to really take their acquisition success to the next level, to book in way more sales calls for 2024. First one is all around remembering to understand what an acquisition system is. Sounds really bizarre, but it's something that I've started to think about a lot more and we've started to teach our clients a lot more and it's really made a big difference. It's about understanding what a, a client acquisition system actually looks like. And when you break it down and you can, you can see it, it makes operating it a lot easier because it's ultimately a system or a machine. And if you don't know what the machine is, making the machine work is pretty difficult. You've got an acquisition system comprises of inputs, processes, outputs, and then feedback. So inputs would be the leads that we're contacting, people that we're reaching out to, or the ad spend that we're putting into the system. The process is how we're actually trying to get somebody onto a sales call, and a sales call is the output. So you've got leads, you've got the process, which is the acquisition system, maybe it's cold emails, maybe it's paid ads, whatever it is. And then on the outside, on the other side, sorry, you have got sales calls. So inputs, processes, outputs, and then your outputs provide us feedback. And we can take that feedback and make it change our inputs, which changes our processes, and we can change everything based on the feedback that we get. Understanding like what an acquisition system physically looks like is the first step to ensuring that, we, that we're able to operate it properly. Because if we don't know what it is, we're gonna to struggle to operate it. That leads me on to step two, which is all about acting on that data. This is like one of the biggest things that we see that is so easy to do, but nobody does it or nobody does it properly. So to give you an example, we recently tested a new subject line in our cold emails and we beat our control subject line. The open rate of the new, e new subject line increased by 10%. So because of that, not only do we track the open rate of the emails or the performance of the subject line, we also track the overall throughput of the system. So how many calls are we getting as a result? But just changing that subject line increased our calls by 10% as well. There was a direct correlation between open rate on emails and calls booked. We go through these tests all the time. Every week we try and test something, a variation of something, whether it is a first line of an email, whether it is the subject line, whether it is a new video script, we're always testing something new to try and get that extra 1%, 2%, 3%. Because when you're, let's say for example, you're sending out 10,000, you're contacting 10,000 people a month through cold email, for example. If you get a 50% open rate, you're going to be, reaching 5,000 people. 5,000 people are gonna be opening your email. If you can increase that from 50% to 60%, you're getting an extra 1,000 people. That 1,000 people can be the difference between a mediocre campaign and a really successful campaign. But what people do is they get comfortable and they think, oh, this kind of is just about working, but there's so many low hanging fruits all around them. So going back to the understanding what the system looks like, an acquisition system looks like, we're taking that feedback and we're changing things all the time to try and improve it, improve it, improve it. And it becomes this flywheel effect that the better it gets, the more motivated we become to try and improve it some more and some more and some more. There's a lot of juice left in the squeeze for so many business owners that are doing some form of acquisition because they're just not testing enough stuff. There was a report that was done by Facebook, and I think it was the top 0.1% of Facebook advertisers on their platform test 14 times more than everybody else. And it doesn't have to be rocket science. Just doing simple A-B split tests 
on individual elements of your acquisition process is all you need to do like testing two subject lines, making sure that you've actually got enough data to make a decision, like a, a solid decision. So you don't want to send out 50 emails of this and 50 emails of this subject line and then look at the results. You've got to have significant data to make an educated decision. But it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be difficult, but you do have to be disciplined. You do have to actually track everything. You do have to every week come up with a new variation of your email copy. Maybe you have to create a new video and test that script out, whatever it may be. It takes discipline, but it's not its not rocket science. You just have to test different things, track and see which one works best, move forward with the one that, that works best, keep the one that didn't work best so you've got it as a reference point so you know that six months down the line you're not going to be testing the same thing over and over again you can collect that information and it allows you to make better educated decisions moving forward hey just real quick sorry to interrupt the video but i just wanted to let you know of our brand new free course that we have just launched that takes you through how to book more appointments on your sales calendar through cold email the course is completely free it comes with a free community as well where there's live calls where you can ask me anything get your questions answered the second link in the description is going to take you to the free course as i say completely free and it's going to walk you through how to get success from your cold email campaign so I will leave it there and enjoy the rest of the video. Now, the problem with doing this testing is that it takes a lot of time because if you're going to test properly, and this is something that we are really trying to do for ourselves and do and, and really instill in our clients as well, that if you're going to test properly, you can only test one thing at a time. Because if you test two things and you get great results or bad results, you don't know what created that change. You don't know whether it was the email copy or the email subject line, for example. You don't know what created the change. So it's important you only test one thing at a time. Problem with this is it takes a lot of time to do it. You know, you've got to test subject line. You've got to make sure there's a significant data set so that you can make a, an educated decision. That might take you one week. It might take you two weeks. It might take you three weeks. That's a problem. The solution to that problem is to think big because when you think big it allows you to test more test quicker and ultimately get to your get to your decision get to your answer much more quickly because let's say for example i've got three email addresses to send from and i want to test different subject lines well i've probably got to run one subject line for two or three weeks and then change it, test another subject line for another two to three weeks so I get significant data size. Whereas if you've got 50 email addresses, you can test two email addresses in the same, sorry, two subject lines in the same week and get your answer in seven days time where it might take me six weeks to do. So thinking big not only allows you to generate more sales calls because you're reaching out to more people and all the obvious stuff, but it allows you to actually improve things a lot quicker as well. So there are a few of the things that we're going to be really focusing on in 2024, not only for ourselves, but for our clients as well. So first one is all around like making sure that we, although we understand the system, reminding ourselves constantly that it is a system. And as long as we understand how the system works and we view it as a system, it allows us to remove emotion from the process and get our kind of take ourselves out of the weeds and understand exactly how this acquisition systems, how they work. And then we're gonna be looking at testing, 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 testing more and more and more and tracking everything to the nth degree and being really relentless with our testing and our tracking. And then the third thing that we're gonna be doing is trying to think as big as possible, remembering that our ability to track and test is dictated by how big we think. How many emails are we going to be sending out? How many domains and email addresses are we going to be purchasing? Are we going to be doubling down on what we're doing? Are we going to be increasing everything? Are we going to be reducing things? Like the bigger we think, the better the results will be. And so there are a few things that we're going to be, we're going to be concentrating on in 2024. And there's going to be strategies that, or should I say tactics that come and go throughout 
the year, they'll be here one month and gone the next. But those three core things, they're the fundamentals of acquisition success. Understanding the system, testing and tracking and thinking big. If any of this is thrown up any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask questions in the comment section below this video. I will be replying to them personally. And if you want help to grow your business in 2024, if you want more calls in your calendar, then click the link in the description. It's going to take you to a web page and you can watch a quick video about what we do, who we work with, who we don't work with, and whether or not it's going to be a good fit. And then we can jump on a call. I'll explain to you who we can help, whether it's going to be a good fit. If it's not going to be a good fit, at least you'll get some guidance on what to do and where to go next. If it is, we can work together. That's fantastic. If not, that's great as well. You'll get some, some help in terms of what to do to take your business to the next level. So yeah, I hope this has been, been helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up if you have got value from it. Consider hitting that subscribe button and I will see you on the next one.